hello guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today to watch my video so in today's video i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a youtube outro i hope you like how your outro ends up looking like and if you do please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't comment down below and also share this to who you think will be interested so now let's get started so the first thing you need to do is download this font so now you're gonna go to safari and then you're gonna type in Belinda Christina da font. When you type that in, you're gonna click on this first website and you're going to download the font. If you don't know how to download fonts from dafont.com, there's a video I did months back where I show you guys how you do that. I'll leave that in my description box below so you can access it really quick. And if you know how to download your fonts, then you don't need to look at that video. So just get the fonts downloaded. Once you've finished downloading your font, you're gonna go to this website called remove.bg, which is a website that erases the background of your pictures. So you're gonna choose a picture of your choice, just one picture, and you're gonna get rid of the background. I'll show you guys how I do it anyways, in case it's your first time. And that's all so you can click on edit if you need to erase anything that it didn't erase out properly and then when you finish erasing that out you just click on that arrow there and you click on download image once you finish doing that you're gonna go to Fonto. you're gonna click on this camera plain images click on the white one and then click on color and then decrease the alpha down to zero then click on apply and then the arrow and use now you're gonna click on the screen so tap on the screen and then click on add text and you're going to write the first part of your youtube channel for example the girl i'm doing this outro tutorial on her name is leah sorel so i'm just gonna type in leah then i'm gonna click on font i'm going to go to my fonts and i'm gonna choose the belinda font that we downloaded few minutes ago Belinda Christina yeah then you're gonna click on style and choose the black color or any other color you want to use but that's the color that I went for and then I'm just gonna click on this arrow and I'm gonna save it as PNG now we're gonna go to the app called PixArt you're gonna click on the plus sign scroll down and click on this first white background under the color background section then you're gonna click on tools and then crop then you're gonna scroll and click on youtube and then click on apply and now you're gonna save this to your camera roll by clicking on this arrow here nice so now you're gonna go to the app called CapCut. You're gonna click on new project, go into photos, and then get the picture you just saved from PixArt. You're going to click on the slide and you're gonna make this 3.8 seconds. So now you're gonna click on overlay, add overlay, and you're going to get the picture that you erased the background from before. You're gonna open it up a bit and you're gonna take it to the side there. And you're gonna make your picture as long as your slide remember that then you're gonna click on animation and then in and you're going to choose shake one and then you're gonna upload your other text that you saved from front of before the first part of your youtube channel name in this case hers is leo you're gonna take that there like that and the animation I chose for this one was rock vertically or fade in. I think let's go for fade in. That looks a bit more simple. And then now you're going to click on text, add text, and you're going to add the second part of your YouTube channel name. You're going to click on style. You're going to go into font and you're going to choose New York. Then you're going to click on style again and you're going to choose the black color. 
and you're gonna place that underneath the previous name like that make sure your text is as long as your slide then you're gonna click on style again and then animation and you're going to choose dissolve and you're gonna make this 0.8 seconds so everything should look like this so far so now you're gonna click on the text of your first part of your YouTube channel name and you're gonna make the duration 0.8 seconds too so now you're gonna go to PixArt then you're gonna go back to the home page you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on this first picture here then now you're gonna click on sticker and you're gonna type in like now you're gonna choose anyone that you like from here the one I went for was this pink one here and then I just saved it now I went back to CapCut then I clicked on overlay add overlay and I went on to photos and then I chose the picture I just saved from PixArt and I placed that here and the animation I went for was fade in 0 0.8 seconds too and I made that come in like a bit later so it should be like this great so now you're gonna save this to your camera roll so now the next part we're going to be doing is the part where you add your video in so you're gonna go into PixArt. So now you're gonna go back to the homepage of PixArt. You're gonna click on the plus sign. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on this first picture again. That's on the color backgrounds section. Then you're gonna click on sticker and you're gonna type in paper tier. You're gonna choose anyone that you like, but the one I went for Let's see, because a lot of them look alike. Yeah, that was the one I went for. So let me show you guys again. This one. That's the one I went for. And then I twisted it like that. Then I clicked on this arrow and it saved that to my camera roll. Now you're going to go back to CapCut. You're going to click on New Project. And you're going to click on photos and you're going to upload that white background that you saved before from PixArt. You're going to click on the slide, then you're going to scroll till you get to replace and you're going to choose one video of your choice. The one I went for was this one. Great. You're going to take this to the side here like that. You can zoom in a little bit. And you're going to make this at least a good five seconds or as long as your video really. But this part should be quite long because that's what you're showing your video for the viewer to see next. So it should be quite long. So now you're going to click on overlay. And then you're going to upload the paper tier that we saved from Pixar before. Which should look like this. And you're going to zoom in on this too. And you're going to put it on top of the video like that and you should make it as long as your video and then the final thing you're going to do is click on add overlay again and you're going to upload the white background that you said from Pixar before to cover up this black space and you're just gonna zoom in like that too and it should look like this great so now you're going to go back to Fontel. Let's get rid of this advertising first. Right, you're going to click on the camera, plain images, click on the white background, go into color and choose any color of your choice. But the color I went for was this pink here. Then I clicked on apply and then I saved this also. You finish saving this, you're going to go back to CapCut. And then you're going to add overlay and you're going to upload the picture you just saved from Frontal. 
now you're gonna zoom this but you're gonna take it to where the video is like that and then you're gonna click on layer and you're gonna click on one then you're gonna scroll again and you're gonna click on opacity and you're gonna decrease this down to 50 like that and make sure it's as long as your slide so everything should look like this so far now you're gonna click on effects go into video effects and you're gonna go into bling the effect i chose was mini stars one so you can either make the effects really really show like this or you can either just keep it beneath the video i think i kept mine like this yeah i think i prefer it this way but all you do just to like change if you want to you just click on effects and then object and then you kind of choose all videos or the main video and that's it so now we're gonna go back to frontal you're gonna click on the camera plain images click on the white background and then color and you're gonna take the alpha down to zero then click on apply now you're gonna click on these three lines that is in the left corner then you're gonna click on add item you're going to scroll and you're going to click on this square with the white background then you're going to click on size and you're just going to resize this to a video template that usually goes at the end of your outros if you get what i mean um i don't really know how the size should really be but i just went for what i think is right <laughs> so once you finish doing that you can click on color if you want to change the color but i decided to keep mine black then you're gonna click on the arrow and you're gonna save this as PNG. Now we're gonna go back to CapCut and then you're gonna click on Add Overlay. Then you're gonna upload the square rectangle that you just saved from Frontal. And you're gonna take it to the middle like that. Great. So now you're gonna click on Text and you're gonna type in thanks for watching you're gonna click on style and then you're gonna click on the black color I go to fonts and you're gonna choose New York then you're gonna take it on top of this rectangle like that you're gonna make it small like that make it as long as your slide then you're gonna click on add text again and you're gonna type in next video so once you finish typing next video you're gonna click on style go into font and then choose blood as the font and there's no animation for this one gonna make it small and then right beneath this rectangle like that make it a little bigger okay that should be fine then now you're gonna click on add text again <laughs> then you're gonna type in like comment and share then you're gonna click on style again click on the black color go into font and the font you're going to choose this time is julius sans you're gonna zoom in on this text so make the text big you're gonna twist it like that and then you're gonna take it to this side like that then make it as long as your slide great so it should look like this so now we're gonna go to safari again and you're gonna type in pink or whatever color you like title bar And then just choose anyone that you like this is the one i went for um i'll leave the link down in my description box for you to just get quick if you want to use this too okay so now you're gonna go onto app store and you're gonna type in eraser and you're gonna download this app if you don't have it 
once you download it you're gonna click on open then click on this icon at the top there the left hand side and you're gonna upload your title bar you only have to do this step if your title bar has a background if it doesn't have a background then you can just skip this part so I'm gonna click on erase target area and I'm gonna target the white part then I'm gonna click on erase again and I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't need them and I'm gonna click on the arrow and I'm gonna save it then once you finish saving this you're going to go to PixArt again get rid of this thing add a photo and then get your title bar that you just saved from eraser make it big and then now click on sticker and type in your social media icon that you're going to be including in your outro so i just typed in instagram logo and the logo i went for was literally this one I clicked on this eraser thing here and then I just erased the other social media icons. And then I placed it here. Then I saved this. So once you finish saving this, go back to CapCut, then click on overlay and then add it. And then you're going to place that in the middle there. Make it as long as your slide. Click on animation, in, and then you're going to choose fade in. Then now you're going to add in your social media username. Now you're going to place your username inside the bar. Then click on style and then choose the white color if you want to. Or you can keep it as black or any other color that you want. And it should be like this so far. So now before you save this, you're going to take your bar a bit to the side because on the right hand side we're going to be adding the subscribe button. So just take a little bit to the side and then also move your username like that and then save it. Then click on new project and then select the first part of the outro and the second part of the outro too. Great, so now the transition, you're going to choose camera and you're going to click on left. So that should be the transition. You're gonna save this to your camera and the last app we're going to be using is VN to add the subscribe button because anytime I want to um, use the CapCut chroma key to get rid of the green screen, it doesn't really get rid of the green screen properly. So that's why I always use VN. So we're going to go into the end and then you're going to upload the video that you just saved from CapCut. And then you're going to click on this image icon that is on top of the slide. Then stocks and you're going to upload your subscribe button green screen. You can get out of YouTube, screen record it and then come back here. So I'm going to crop the video because I don't need the other screen. I don't need the full screen. And I'm going to click on Chroma. I'm going to go into the green screen area and then click on this tick sign. And I'm just going to take the subscribe button down here. This is just an example. I already have the subscribe button I used actually. And I'm just going to place it there. Yeah. And that's it guys. So now you can add your song by just clicking on this music icon here. Music. If you have an iPhone, you can just click on the three dots that says more and then import it from your file app. 
and if you have the sound in a video just click extract from video and that's the end of this outro guys so i'm gonna show you guys how it ended up looking like <laughs> So thank you so much if you made it till the end of this video. I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope you like how your outro ended up looking like. Thank you so much once again. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below what you think also. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day guys. Bye.